Hi everyone, I hope everyone's having a great week. My puppy and I are back with another video. I'm so excited for this video. It's gonna be a what's in my bag video. The puppy's already yawning. I wanted to switch out my bags, so I thought I would film a new what's in my bag. Currently, I am using the Chanel 19. As you can see back here, I've already emptied it out. And I do love it, it's been a great bag. Let me see if I can show the bag over my dog who doesn't wanna move. Hi, yeah. It's the handbag. I've been using it. I have another what's in my bag video for when I started using it. I loved it. It's been great. I will say one thing about this bag is that it does get a lot of attention. So that could be a good or bad thing. Reason why I'm switching, oh, there she goes. The reason why I'm switching my bags is because the summer's approaching and this bag is very limited in space. So I currently have a bag insert in here, which I got specifically for the Chanel 19. And I definitely recommend a bag insert because it's an expensive bag and I absolutely didn't want to get it dirty or mess up the interior, especially since the interior is cloth and I feel like if something were to spill on it, it'd be hard to get out. This bag is so limited in space in that sense and this is the large one too. I personally like larger bags. There are times where I just carry a crossbody with one or two items, but most of the time my personal bags will have my just in case items and just items that I love to have with me. So the summer's coming, I'm gonna be carrying more things Things, and I just wanted to switch out the bag because I can't really fit as much in this bag. Also because it is a very nice lambskin, I just don't think it's very suitable for the summer, especially it gets really hot. I'll probably be putting this away until the fall or the winter and I like to rotate my bags around because I just don't like to cause too much wear and tear on them. My puppy's meandered her way back to the front. She's back to being the star. The bag... <laughs> How dare I talk about anything else but her. There she goes. So the bag I'm switching, this Chanel 19-2, will be a Louis Vuitton bag. She's cranky because I moved her aside for the big reveal. I'm switching to the Louis Vuitton Ponthieu bag. I'm not sure if I pronounced this correctly. Okay, you're just gonna go pout. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is one of my favorite bags. I got this pre-loved. They don't make this anymore. For me, using a black leather bag is not ideal for the summer. The bag itself is just perfect for what I wanna use it for and it's just gonna be so convenient. It can be worn as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag. So the straps here are long enough to be a shoulder bag. I'll insert a clip of me wearing the bag to show you. And then it comes with a crossbody strap so you can wear this bag as a crossbody. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. There's little hooks to the side here where you could put the strap on. The strap is not adjustable, but I find that it's the perfect length to be a crossbody. This bag itself is just the perfect everyday bag. I do have another video of why I purchased this bag and I'll link that below. But just to summarize, I just love the shape of it. It's kind of slouchy, but not completely. So you don't have to worry too much about babying the bag and keeping the shape because it's really cute when it slouches down. And I love that the bag has feet at the bottom. That's one thing I often look for in bags is whether they have feet because when you set the bag down on a hard surface, it's just nice for it to have that element there. I feel like it's an added detail and if you're paying this much for a designer bag, they can add feet to it. So that's one of the pluses of this bag. I like that it is the monogram because you can see it's Louis Vuitton, but it's not too in your face. This is just a really convenient, nice, beautiful, luxury, everyday bag and I'm so happy to start using it again. So let's just get started on what's in my bag. My puppy is back. She has her alert guard dog face on. They say German Shepherds are great guard dogs. Nobody ever tells you how great a Bichon Frise is as a guard dog, or at least they think they're the best guard dogs. Okay, so danger has passed and she's now laying down again. So let's just get started. My puppy's comfortable. So I wasn't going to use a bag insert for this bag. I don't think I used it before, but since I've been using one for the Chanel 19, I just got used to it and it was just so nice having it and not really worrying about hurting the bag or getting it dirty. The inside of this bag is also cloth and so it would be hard to get a stain out even though it is black, but I still don't want to get it dirty. Last minute decision. I 
decided to use a bag insert. Now, I don't have a bag insert, especially for this bag. I didn't go order one, but I had ordered a bunch in the past for the Speedies, and I found this one that I had lying around not using. This is a hot pink bag insert that I got in the past, I believe, for a Speedy. I'll try to find the link and link everything below. Everything I talk about will be linked below if I can find it. I just thought it was perfect for this Pontheu because I didn't want a bag insert that fit this completely. I still wanted it to have a slouchy, baggy, soft look. And so having a bag insert that's just slightly smaller than this bag actually worked out fine. I think I just got this on Amazon. I've been obsessed with hot pink lately. And when I saw this extra hot pink one, I grabbed it immediately. I think it'd be perfect. I just thought it would be a perfect splash of color for the summer. It fits in here pretty well. It is smaller than the bag, which is good, again, because there's slouchy space to the side, there's slouchy space at the top. I don't want it to show that I have a bag insert. I solely want the bag insert just to protect the inside of this bag. And I really like how that fits. My puppy looks giant over here. She meandered her way back into my lap. Baby yawn. Sorry, she was just distracting sometimes. So I will say if you can't find a bag insert that's specifically for your bag or this bag, I would suggest getting one that's slightly smaller. I just don't think getting a bag insert that's too big is a smart idea because that could possibly damage your bag by stretching it out. You don't want to ruin the shape of it or anything. This bag insert is solely just for protecting the interior of the bag. Let her sit in my lap for a little bit before I resume filming, but she looks so comfortable. Maybe I can just film with her in front of me. I'll try to keep going with you right here. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I make lots of what's in my bag videos. I absolutely love doing this. Every time I get a new bag or I switch bags, I love to pack everything and show you what I found. Some items are old, some items are new. I just really like making these videos. It's just so much fun for me. I don't necessarily find expensive items to put in the bag. The bag itself is already expensive. I like to mix and match with designer sets accessories and items that I just find from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Amazon. Sometimes it's nice to just find fun, simple, and cute things that you enjoy carrying with you. So I'm gonna try to- okay. You look very upset with me right now. You are very sleepy. I typically film during her nap time. She either gets super clingy or she just wants her space. Right now she's being super clingy. So I'm gonna just try to film with her right here. So this, this little pile of fluff is my puppy. The first item going in my bag is my wallet. I am using this Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. I wanted a larger wallet to use for this bag. I know this wallet's not big, but compared to some of the other wallets I've used for the Chanel 19 bags or my smaller bags, this one is a little bit larger. I just wanted it to fit everything. Sometimes when I have smaller wallets, I have a card holder that I use as well to carry my non-essential cards like gift cards or something, but I felt like just putting all of my cards into one wallet. I typically don't like to have the same brand of bag as my accessories. The pattern is so different. I thought it was okay, and I'm really liking the light pink right now. I've just been in this pink phase, hot pink especially. This wallet has card slots. It has, oh, are you interested? It has a little zip compartment for your coins and a big pocket here for your cash or your bills. It just fits everything and it's not too bulky. I always felt like it was the perfectly made wallet and Louis Vuitton actually will monogram things for free for you. It is final sale and I do have a Victorine wallet that's monogrammed. I just think it's like really nice. It's just a little hot stamp that they do and you can pick your font and your color. I'm just gonna put this in here. I'll probably rearrange it. My puppy is not moving at all. I think I'm just gonna have to like, I think I'm just gonna have to move her just so I don't disturb her sleep and I also don't want to drop anything on her either. There she goes. Next up is my makeup bag. I am so excited for this item. It's new. I found it on Amazon. I've actually gotten this item before, but in a white color. I really wanted something hot pink, so I got this makeup bag in hot pink. This is just a perfect size for an everyday handbag. I love the color. I love the material. It's just like a nylon-ish material, so it's really easy to clean if it gets dirty. And the zipper is gold, so I just love the way it looks. And it carries so much. It carries all of your essentials. So I'll just kind of go through what I have in here. First of all, my hot pink scrunchie from Lululemon. I have a Winky Lux powder. I got this from Target because it was really pretty. So there's really no reason why I got that other than I felt like it. 
This is a great find. This is a Chanel compact mirror. I got this from the Chanel website and I just really like it. There's nothing special to it. It's just a very simple compact mirror, but when do you really replace compact mirrors? Most people just use compact mirrors until they break. So I didn't feel bad buying a Chanel one and I think it was around $45. I'll have to find it and link it below, but it's just a staple in my purses since I've gotten it. You can always use a compact mirror. Why not have it be Chanel? The next item are my Refresh Eye Drops. Super fun, always need those. Vaseline, again, real exciting there. Always have to have my Vaseline with me. And I got this the other day from my friend. It's a Juicy Tubes lip gloss. I don't remember, was it middle school or high school, but these were everything, and I didn't even know they still made them. I was really excited when I saw this. Definitely carrying this in my bag. It smells so good too. And next I have a Rose Quartz Glass Roll-On Applicator. I just really like these. They have these Rose Quartz crystals. They're really pretty and they're just roll on and I just put eucalyptus in here just because I really like the scent I mean I don't really think it heals me or anything I just like the scent of eucalyptus and I feel like it does kind of help me with my allergies I just like to have this with me because I feel like it's just really calming and nice next I have my benefit gimme brow I typically don't wear makeup but if I do it's usually eyebrow makeup and it's just really easy to put on so I just carry this with me just in case I need it this is a Chanel moisturizer I got this as a free sample when I bought this mirror so when you buy from chanel.com it comes with a little pouch and some samples I believe and so I just keep this in my purses next I have a Chanel chance roll-on perfume I really like roll-on bottles and I think it's really cute so I just keep it with me in my purses you never know when you need perfume this is something I got from a nail kit so this is gelin and it was a shellac nail kit and this came with it it's just a little cuticle oil but I really like it and every time I just have some downtime when I'm just waiting or bored I can just take this out and apply it to my cuticles and it's just fun to just find it in your purse and use it. This came with a nail set and I'll try to find that nail set. These are some travel size bronzers and blushes that my friend got me. They're nude sticks, nudies. I just like the fact that these are little crayons so they're not going to spill and I don't need a brush really. I can just kind of draw and dab it on my face. They're just more so just in case I need to apply something. I have them with me. So this is what's all in my catch-all bag. Everything fits so well. And I just love the little shape of it. It's really easy to grab stuff. And that's it. So I'm gonna put this in the middle here. And what's a good thing about these bag inserts is they have these pockets that kind of help you place things so your bag looks super organized. The next is just a staple in all my bags. It's my Louis Vuitton key ring holder. But this is just something that I keep in all of my purses. So I just have all of my keys in here with a little four leaf clover charm. This is just a handbag essential because this prevents your keys from scratching up your wallet and your accessories. I just carry this with me in every handbag and I think it's very important to have something like this. You absolutely don't need a Louis Vuitton one but I would find something that'll prevent your keys from scratching up the interior of your bag and your other accessories. This was expensive but I feel like it was worth it because I use it every day and it serves a purpose. So I'm just gonna put this next to my wallet. It's just right here. This next item is something I found recently and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is a car key fob cover and I love it. I think it looks so neat. Is it a necessity? No, but I like that it has a little bit of a lanyard, a little bit of a keychain, so it just makes grabbing your key fob so much easier and it just looks so much nicer and I feel like it kind of protects it. If I were to drop it, I don't think I would shatter the key fob. Mainly I got this for looks and they have a bunch of different designs for different car models and so I just went and found mine and it fit perfectly. I love the white and the gold together. I just think it looks really nice. I believe they have other colors too and it looks way more expensive than it actually was. I'm just going to put it back here in one of these pockets and it fits very nicely. And the next item is just one of those simple, very inexpensive new items that I'm really excited about. So I carry hand sanitizer with me all the time and I like the spray ones but I just 
just wanted something less bulky and something cuter. I just don't think hand sanitizer is a very cute item to carry around. The ones that are cute I feel like are just way too scented and I'm not sure how well they sanitize your hands. So I found these on Amazon and I am obsessed. So I already filled three of them. I don't know which one I want but these are refillable hand sanitizer spray bottles. Like how cute are these? I was overzealous and just filled three of them because I didn't know which one I wanted to use. I think I might give this one to my sister because she's really into pastel yellows and I wanted the hot pink. I was naturally drawn to the hot pink which I'll probably use but this green one is so cute and I kind of want to switch it up. I actually do think I'm going to go with the green one. I just think it's really cute. Like there's just something about this green and plus everything in here is already hot pink. So maybe I'll just choose the green one. It's really inexpensive. It comes in a pack of six with different colors. There's still a blue, a purple, and a red one. And you can buy these and just gift them to your friends. They'd make great little bridesmaid gifts or little like stocking stuffer gifts. I'm probably gonna fill these and give them to my parents and friends and stuff because I don't wanna waste them. And they're so cute because they come with these little funnels. So each one comes packaged with its own individual funnel. It also comes with a little eyedropper thing, which I have not used yet. I'm not entirely sure what you use it for, but this funnel is how you fill it. What you do is you just remove the exterior you unscrew this and then you place this on top and then you fill it with whatever hand sanitizer spray you want to fill it with they have a little keychain thing you can just put on your backpack or your fanny pack you just spray it like that if you just want to use it you just spray it and it comes with like a pretty fine mist which I like but this is one of the reasons why I want a bag insert. I'm really careful about this stuff, like lotions or any liquids at all. Always have the potential to leak if you're not careful. So bag insert makes me not worry about this at all. I'm just gonna put this here. I'll leave this compartment. Just a little compartment there. And cream. I'm really bad at taking care of my hands. I'm constantly washing them using hand sanitizer. I need to start carrying lotion around and that's also why I started carrying that cuticle oil around too because I've noticed my fingernails and my nails hands are just really dry. Getting something cute and pretty that smells nice will probably entice me to use it more. So that's why I have this cherry blossom from Tony Moly hand cream. And that's just gonna go in a little compartment here. A hot pink pen. I've started carrying a pen around because I feel like I've needed one lately. This came in a pack with a bunch of different colors. It's like a gel pen. Love it. It writes so well. It's a clicker pen. Love those. I have them at my desk. I have them in all different colors. This pack is great. I'm just gonna put this right here and it fits so perfectly. I just love this stuff. I just love packing and organizing a bag. This is an insane find I found from TJ Maxx. So I really like the brand Kula. I wanted to start carrying sunscreen moisturizer around because it's the summertime and I walk my dogs a lot. I'm always out in the sun and you just never know when you need it. It could be rainy one minute and then all of a sudden the sun is like glaring down on me. So I was saying I really like the brand Kula and I like their sunscreen. Their products are moisturizing and they also have a lot of sunscreen SPF in it. It doesn't feel like sunscreen. Well, their products are really expensive. One of their products I really like is their sun silk drops. It's this moisturizer that's really dewy and it has sunscreen of SPF 30 in it and it has organic ingredients and it just feels so nice and lightweight. It protects your skin and it's moisturizing. This is $48. I still feel like it's worth it because a little bit goes a long way. It's a little dropper and you just drop a little bit and your hands rub together and rub it on your face and neck but $48 is a lot. I found these at TJ Maxx for $14.99. $15. That's just such a steal. So if you're ever in TJ Maxx or Marshalls, go to the makeup beauty aisle and look for items or brands that you typically use and pay a lot for because a lot of them are sold there. I couldn't believe this was sold at TJ Maxx. I love this stuff. And some people are scared of purchasing from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I've heard, because you don't know how old they are. Well, this one clearly says it expires in a year. Plenty of time to use this. So if you're interested in something like this, before you buy it for retail for $48. Go check TJ Maxx, Marshalls, your local stores and see if you can find something like this. And this goes the same for any other makeup, hair, or skincare product. Your local TJ Maxx, Marshalls could carry it for a fraction of the price.
but I love this stuff and this is partially why I wanted a bigger bag because I wanted to start carrying something like this with me so I can always have sunscreen and lotion with me. I'm drawn to it and I reach for it so then I start using it and protect my skin so it's a win-win. And I'm gonna place this right here. The joy of having a bag insert. The next item is not a bag necessity. I just love to carry this whenever I have a larger bag on me and it actually fits. It's my Kindle. I just think this is an amazing device to have. I typically like to carry this with me every Everywhere if I can. I feel like in this day and age it's so easy to get sidetracked with social media or things online. It's just nice to read a good book. For instance, if you're waiting to get your car fixed or something like that, I just think it's so much more enjoyable to grab a cup of coffee and pull out your Kindle instead of scrolling through the internet on my phone. And I got this really cute case for it. It just kind of protects the Kindle. And so what's another great thing about Amazon is when I order from them, I typically don't ask for immediate delivery. Like even though I'm a Prime member, I don't necessarily have to have things delivered to me right away to be more eco-friendly, to be more sustainable. I typically have all my items delivered to me on a specific day of the week, like Amazon day is Tuesday or something. And so all my items will come Tuesday. And then oftentimes if you opt for later deliveries and have them delivered on the same day, you can get credit from Amazon. Like they'll give you $1.50 or $2 or $3 in Amazon credits for digital purchase, which includes Kindle eBooks. So I accumulate a lot of credits from Amazon and I purchase Kindle books with them. So a lot of my books are actually free and Kindle books can be so inexpensive. There's a lot of free books out there. A lot of the books I read are maybe about five bucks or less. You can use your credits to get a lot of free books. It's just such a great device to have and I highly recommend getting a Kindle if you don't own one already. I just throw it back here since I already have the case for it. If I didn't have the case, I'd probably just slip the Kindle here. These strawberry Arctic Altoids from Target that are amazing. I carry these with me now. And then my sunglasses. I got this pouch from Amazon. This is the light pink one. It came with black and pink. I've been using the black one and I loved it. But since it's the summertime and this is already a black leather bag, I decided to use the light pink one. I love the quilting. It just kind of reminds me of Chanel a little bit. But these were really inexpensive from Amazon and they're just really lightweight. That's always a plus for handbags. I got these Gucci sunglasses from MarshallsTJMaxx.com. Absolutely recommend that website, Marshalls or TJMaxx.com for designer sunglasses. They fit perfectly in this pouch. I'm going to just throw them at the top here. Last but not least is my phone. I got this new case for it. I really love these cases because these cases are front and back. So I don't need to buy a glass screen protector. My entire phone is protected. You snap on the front and then you snap on the back and the back usually has different patterns and designs. I really liked this one and then the front is gold. As somebody who drops their phone a lot, I'm fine with a bulkier case because this provides complete protection. And that's it. That's what's in my bag. I'm going to insert a clip of me wearing the bag so you can see it. Here's the bag as a shoulder bag. I really like carrying it as a shoulder bag. It's super comfortable and it's a really easy transition to a crossbody. This is also super comfortable as well, but I actually do prefer carrying it as a shoulder bag. And just for reference, I am about 5'1", and I know this bag is a little large on my frame, but I actually prefer large bags, and I'm just moving around right now because my puppy is totally behind me, awkwardly staring and judging me. Oh, and just one final thing, I, because I wanted to make this bag a little bit more fun, I wanted to add this little bunny keychain to it. I got this from a Nutcracker Market, and I really like it. I thought it was really cute. These kind of remind me of my dog. They're really fluffy and soft. I think you can find these online. I'll try to see if I can find it and link it below. It's this summer, and I wanted to add a pop of color, so I'm going to... Just add this to the handbag just to make it a little bit fun. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you enjoyed watching, please consider subscribing. I make videos once a week about luxury and lifestyle. Thank you so much and have a wonderful week. Bye.